when you think about it, you mentioned the New Japan, and this concept of a New Japan is something that will come up again and again, and with it a concept of a new Tokyo, because what we saw in the very first module, Kiyo Chika, was the emergence of a New Japan, electricity uh, and all of the electric lighting and so on. It all gets destroyed, leveled almost, in the Kanto earthquake in 1923. And then you get lots of language about the New Japan after the Kanto earthquake. Uh, very mod influenced by modern global uh, trends in a very dramatic way. And then comes World War II and the city is leveled. And then you get a whole new rhetoric about the new Japan, the new Tokyo again. So it's, it's, it's a place that's undergone fantastic dynamic change and upheaval. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh it's interesting to think that disaster is nothing new to Tokyo, formerly Edo. It's not a new thing to the old capital, Kyoto or Osaka. Fire, primarily, with some earthquakes, was, was a historic problem. And rebuilding was something done fairly regularly. The great paintings that we have from the Edo period of Edo and also Kyoto usually emerged after a disaster. Uh, these works of art were almost promoted by the City Chamber of Commerce uh, to, to give a sense to citizens that the city was being reborn. Mm -hmm. So that's, in a way, a tradition of its own, recovering from urban disaster. What was mentioned earlier, though, I think is, is fascinating, and that's it, after the earthquake, there was quite a bit of score settling going on. Uh, Korean uh, residents, Chinese residents uh, of the greater Kanto area of Tokyo in particular uh, were dealt with by police. Social dissidents, particularly on the left, were You're dealt with. They're scapegoated. Scape or scapegoated. Or it was health. catastrophe is a moment to get things done uh, oh. by, by the powers that be or the powers that want to be. And that's so there's all. There's an agenda. It's not just scapegoating, but saying. Oh. Well, as, as long as the house is falling apart, we may as well take wow. a sledgehammer to certain mm -hmm. ornery pieces of the construction. I see. Uh, and this is, this is a new thing, I believe, in the history of uh, disaster and disaster recovery. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, the bombing that John mentions at the end of uh, World War II is the ultimate uh, getting I think, even. I think yeah. the, the cycle we see is one of the fire. The f mm -hmm. It used to be called in the feudal period, the Flowers of Edo, right. the former name of Tokyo, Edo, mm -hmm. the Flowers of Edo, the fires that kept destroying the city. I think what we're seeing is rebirth, reconstruction, and has very many negative sides. It brings out very bad instincts, but it brings out enormous creativity as exactly. well. Mm -hmm. And so there's always this tension. I don't think it's peculiarly Japanese to no. find to find disaster and, and traumatic experiences giving rise to such contradictory, conflicting uh, impulses and dynamics and actions. But it certainly is part of our story about mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. emergence of modern Tokyo.